Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our podcast. Today we're covering the movie The Scorpion King. Yes, and this movie is a prequel focusing on the adventures of the Scorpion King from The Mummy Returns. Yes. And while it was advertised as a villain origin story, it's really more of a classic adventure movie. Yes, and before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, click the occasional updates on future podcasts and want to pause videos. Absolutely. This movie isn't what I expected, having seen the appearance in mummy returns and how they had the cg dwayne johnson slash scorpion hybrid yeah that's what we were expecting for this movie well it doesn't have anything to do with the mummy returns it's more of its own thing and you could kind of say it was a precursor or foreshadowing to black adam because it seems like whenever dwayne john stars in a movie he always plays the anti-hero or misunderstood hero or the underdog hero or some type of thing where even though you know he's really not the underdog, he's supposed to be and you're supposed to accept that role. <laughs> and this movie does nothing to uh, expand on the lore or the myth or the legend no, of the Scorpion King. Nothing. This movie has nothing to do with the Scorpion King that appears in The Mummy Returns. No. Nothing. It's almost as if it was in its own movie, in its own universe, and nothing to do with it. And that's how it should have been promoted, and I think because it wasn't promoted that way, and then you watch it, and you're getting something different, it was disappointing. Right. And it was kind of like you felt like you were lied to. This isn't what you were expecting. Yeah. Now, with that being said, it was entertaining. It had fun moments. It had action. It had suspense. Right. And on its own, not connected to The Mummy Returns, it's a pretty decent okay film. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if you're looking for just something that's just a regular adventure film, something like uh, Indiana Jones or those classic adventure films, then this is for you. Mm -hmm. And again, Scorpion King is not really a villain at all. He's more of a hero or misunderstood hero. And that seems to be the type of roles Wayne Johnson likes to play in the movies. So this is the version of Scorpion King they wanted to tell. And we learned that they also chose this because it's actually based on a actual Egyptian mythology. Which they don't expand on in the freaking movie. Right. And we were like, okay, we're going to find out more about this. This is great. No. Nope. And nothing about it appears in the movie. Nope. They made up their own story. It's a footnote. Yeah, it's a footnote. They said that's where the idea came from. And that's what they put in the mummy. But uh, they were claiming they don't know if this was an actual a person in history and a ruler were they a marauder were they a ruler a hero what so they decided okay we're gonna make our own story of this instead of trying to make something out of the bare minimum we know we just want to make him a hero and leave it at that and it's like well you could have just said that instead of giving right. us this lore and making it seem like this is going to be based off something from that and your own twist on it this is just your take on a hero with an existing name now when someone pointed out to us earlier when we covered The Mummy, was that this was Dwayne Johnson's first acting role. Yeah. And for being his first acting role, he did a great job. Yes. He was convincing. And the movie had, again, had fun moments. It was full of action. Of course, he did well in those. That's especially. Mm -hmm. And he did a great job. Yeah, I think so. And you kind of get the same story beats of uh, adventure film in there. And everyone seemed to play their roles well. The villain played his role well. You had the comic relief sidekick. The uh, the poor kid that has to that gets into trouble and he has to save him. The woman he wants to be with that he can't because forbidden and all that. All those adventure fantasy tropes are in there. And I'm glad you mentioned that because there were... There was one surprise casting. The other wasn't because he was in the commercials from what I remember. Michael mm -hmm. Clark Duncan, who was entertaining as always. Yes. Like a young Kelly Hugh. And 
when she came out, she wasn't as big in voice acting as she became. Right. And she had neither appeared in one of the X-Men movies right. as uh, Wolverine's antagonist. Right. And it was so funny because when I saw her, I said, that's Kelly Hugh. That's Kelly Hugh. Yes. That's Kelly Hugh. And sure enough, it was her. Yes, and you were right. So it is fun and movie in a way to, as you said, watching a classic adventure film and seeing some actors when they were starting out their careers and seeing how different it was Mm -hmm. between then and now when they've blown up in popularity. Yes. The special effects were really good. Mm -hmm. And the acting was good. I mean, there wasn't anyone you could point at and go, this person didn't do a good job. This wasn't convincing. There were a couple lines that were like, they felt kind of out of place. Right. But other than that, it's an entertaining, fun movie. And it starts off kind of, well, not kind of, it starts off with a sad backstory. But after that backstory has been presented, Mm -hmm. then the rest of the movie is more interesting, more fun. Yes. We wish it had, this character had a better backstory in terms of not being so sad and not being filled with such, um... Tragedy. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, such tragedy. I wish that had not been the case for this character but that's what they chose but other than that it's definitely worth taking a look at and watching if you haven't seen it yes definitely now if you've seen it already let us know in the comments below what did you think of it when it first came out were you looking for it to be like the scorpion king from the mummy returns let us know what you think right and if you want you know you can even consider its own film in its own universe or separate or you can consider it part of the mummy verse if you want to call it that since now we're getting a universe for different monsters and all that so you leave it up to you to watch and decide for yourself definitely and now, we got to see it because we own it right i don't know if it's on any streaming service i don't know if it's on demand right because it's such a classic film right. that certain only certain subscribers have it so you might have to buy it and i'm sure hopefully sure that <laughs> It won't cost you a lot. We actually right. got it from Half Price Books, and we got it for two bucks. So hopefully you'll you know be able to find an equitable price. Yes. For you as well. Yes. So uh, let us know what you think. If you haven't seen it, come back and tell us no. Come back, so tell us no. no tell us no. Come back and you let like us it. know. <laughs> what did you think of it after seeing it and hearing our review? Right. And if you haven't already, subscribe for updates and weekly videos. Updates and weekly videos on your favorite anime series, anime shows, and all things animation. Absolutely. And thank you so much for your support and for following us and subscribing. We appreciate you so much. Mm -hmm. If you want us to take a look at your channel and we aren't already following you, let us know what it is in the comments below. Leave a link. We'll check it out. Give you a follow and our support as well. Yes. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ask Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a fantastic day. Peace.